Ever wondered why it seems like you try to fight a particular addiction with all of your might, with all of your strength, and it just looks like after all the prayers, all the uh, whatever it is, it just looks like this thing does not just want to go, doesn't just want to leave you. So, you know, I've realized that we focus too much on the problem than we focus on the solution. Let's give an instance. So the Bible said in Galatians, I think chapter 5 verse 16, it said, walk in the spirit that you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. A lot of people are fighting the lust of the flesh and they are not walking in the spirit. The only way, listen, 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 this, this is a major deliverance for a lot of people. If you can stop fighting it, I think that you can start winning against it. Because the thing is that the devil wants you to put too much attention to him. I mean, give him a lot of attention. And if he give you attention to your problem more than your solution, then you will be under pressure with that problem. So this is it. Have you been struggling with one thing or the other? I don't want to mention it, but you know what you're struggling with. Have you been struggling with one thing or the other and it seems like there's no help anywhere? I've come to tell you, walk in the spirit. Listen, if you have been so, I mean, you've prayed so little, you studied so little, you've gone on little retreats, you've not given yourself more to the Spirit, you've not learnt the ways of the Spirit, you've not given your heart to the ways of the Lord, there's no way the devil won't cage you in certain areas. And I know there are different, I mean, different uh, maxims in the body of Christ, different theologies in the body of Christ that believe that there is, uh, I mean, that a believer can never be demonized. Ah, yeah, and no, a believer can never be demonized, but a, a believer that does not give complete control to God will have several aspects of his life that the devil has control over. And any aspect of your life that the devil has control over, it will end up spilling to the rest. So that's why you need to be conscious of walking in the spirit walking in the spirit it is not safe and i'm saying this it's not safe for you not to walk in the spirit as a believer you are not safe you are not safe hear this so it's best for you to carry your two hands and run away run away from everything that will make you not walk in the spirit run to god not run man don't run to any man for help run to god run to god walk in the spirit and how do you walk in the spirit very simple very very simple give heed to every instruction of the word of god and obey them part time right when you are supposed to pray pray when you're supposed to study god's word study god's word when you're supposed to fast and listen i think one of the other ways by which you can you know win over the flesh is by fasting giving yourself to fasting fasting flattens the flesh and fattens the spirit yeah what i said fasting fattens the flesh and fattens the spirit god bless you i think this has helped you if it has helped you tell me in the comment section if this helped you god bless you